got any cabs available? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Cool. Hey, my man, where you going? Hey, boy. That's the ride, my man. Put up your hands and stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out.
can't be thinking about any of them but me. I would never. I'll see you later, okay?
car might be worth something, but it ain't. It's, it ain't got no resale. Zilch. They only made ten of these. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! I mean, that car's a... My baby... Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hit no nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just stay alone. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker. to a buck.
it's hard driving with you up there watching me, dawg. I get self-conscious and shit. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like ten? No, not like ten, man. Exactly ten. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. You getting robbed, Jesus! God so where do you want to go? What? This is the spot, right? Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch.
Damn, that must be my girl. You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I wiped that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through.
Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Get in, we're running late. Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Have you been drinking? Out. This driver is a fucking lunatic! Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Oh my god! He's got a gun! I'm calling the police! Here's the shit, you know how it is. Green light, good to go.
Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. 
okay? Let's go. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> people alone and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. Well, you're not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Enough of this craziness! This is not how you negotiate!
Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo, how's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, on my ranch off Senora Road. I'll bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay.